Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike. Thanks for taking a moment of your day to spend it with me today. It is the 1st of May. I didn't need to rhyme that way, but let's go by the bay. Have some hay. I may be gay. This month is absolute butt juice for horror movies. I gotta tell you, it's not good. So we do this video on the first of the month every month. So if you like being informed about the movies that are coming out and you wanna be aware and just have this ready to go, click that subscribe button and click the bell. That will notify you when we make these videos. But speaking of doing this every month, like the last couple months we've done it, it's like 12, 16 horror movies. Guys, we have five, fucking five horror movies coming out this month. That's it. That's all of it. It is barren. So with that being said, let's get into it. Starting tomorrow, I'll be watching Comes to VOD, and this is a, a smart home horror film. We've seen several of these by now come out at, at film festivals here and there. I don't think we still ha have not gotten the quintessential smart home horror film. People want to play around with this idea, but it hasn't really happened. There's movies like Megan, of course, but that's a different idea. They've been used in horror before, like like in the opening of Scream, when they're unlocking the doors and the windows and whatnot. But it's never really, we've never gotten that film. In this movie, Julie, played by Liza Taylor, gets attacked in her home. Her sister gets murdered by a burglar. She has all sorts of PTSD and anxiety about it going forward, obviously. But then her husband leaves her home by herself because he's a piece of shit. And this, apparently, this intruder shows up using her smart home against her and has this mask that you know it's a it's a slasher intruder type of film mixed with a smart home idea but the problem i have is with the mask you got if you're gonna do this you gotta come up with something more menacing than this and overall it looks pretty low budget I, i'm not I'm, i don't really have high hopes for this one but you never know we'll see so now we go all the way to May 19th. I'm telling you, man, I have not seen something this dry since my wife's vagina when I was obsessed with playing Halo 3 all the time back in the day. <laughs> How crazy horror's been in the theaters. It, it's wild. Two weeks without a horror movie, VOD, theatrical, anything. Until we come up across Moon Garden. Moon Garden is a movie that, and we watched all these trailers today, by the way, on our Patreon live stream. There's a link down, down below to that. Uh, I watched them every single one of these trailers, full trailer reactions with a, a, a few people in the live stream there hanging out. So if you want to check that out, it's in the link below. We do it every month. Yeah, the trailer for this actually got me. I did not expect it to be this scary. Now it's a fantasy horror film and it has, it totally feels like a Pan's Labyrinth type situation, but the IMDb synopsis says a comatose five-year-old girl journeys through an industrial wonderland to find her way back to consciousness. This trailer fucked me up a little bit. It's this little girl and she's just lost. So it's, it's sort of like, a, you know, in, in a way, it's it's got a tie to like skin or or whatever, where everything's just crazy and weird and out there. And you got this little kid who's lost without their parents. And she's in this crazy Pan's Labyrinth looking world where all this stop motion stuff is going on. And some of it, the imagery, really freaky. Had me like, yeah. Kind of gross, kind of fucked up, kind of gnarly. This one could actually be scary. This movie could actually be really good. It's gonna be hard for me to watch it though, because just I'm that kid so cute and sad and little that like I'm watching the trailer and the whole time I'm like, I just want someone to pick up that fucking kid and cuddle it. And it's like upsetting me. And you're seeing this little adorable kid in danger and like crying for her mom. And it's just gonna make me sad more than anything else. But that movie looks like it could be really, really good, especially if you're into the more fantastical side of horror. And that comes to VOD on May the 19th. Also coming on May the 19th, other than me, Sanctuary is a 2022 created film, but it's releasing. And this is this is a this is a stretch. It's more of a drama thriller type film, but it's horrific in the sense that there's this guy and he gets off on being humiliated and, and and having this girl come over and make him like clean the bathroom and like she says something at one point about sticking a a, a q-tip in his pee pee hole that's i'm dead ass serious it's in the trailer but when he starts to rise up it seems like and become super successful she wants credit for it so she kind of blackmails him and starts to fuck with him and tells him she has him doing all sorts of uh, weird pee pee hole stuff on camera and starts to really mess with him. So it's not a horror in the sense par se. We're just desperate for some fucking horror movies to talk about. And this would be a horrific situation to be in. And also, did I mention that she makes some stick stuff in his pee-pee hole? If that's not horror, I don't know what is, Jim. Maybe a lunch with Ezra Miller. This stars Christopher Abbott and... Blah, blah, blah. Cock and balls. But it stars Christopher Abbott and Margaret Qualley, who was the girl from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with the feet. Do you even know why you're doing this, or is this just the game? Yes. Oh! 
Honestly, the acting in this one looks good. It looks like a pretty good movie to me. If the twists and the turns and the writing's tight, this could be a fun one. Moving right along to May the 23rd, Dark Nature comes out. Now this movie, it's... <laughs> Oh, it's a therapy group who go out into the wilderness and a lot of the trailer is about this 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 woman's PTSD from her abusive husband, it seems like, and she's going out there to just get away. And it's a group of like uh, a therapy group of people with their leader. This girl starts to see stuff in the woods and we don't really know what it is or what happens, but bad freaky horror shit happens to the group. It seems like one of those movies that's going to take a while to like kind of unpack. And also we have the descent, you know, we have the ruins. We have a lot of movies that have done this idea of a story before that being said, they don't say exactly what it is. There's little moments in the trailer where they show you just a hint of what possibly is the monster, but you don't know if it's in her head or what's going on or what kind of cathartic release situation we got going on. But in the little hints that they show of whatever the boogeyman here is was pretty freaky looking and pretty cool. So I'm not totally sold on this one. I'm not 100% sure it's going to be a necessary watch, but it definitely has a chance to be scary. And last and absolutely not least, actually the best, we have Wrath of Becky coming out on May the 26th. If you saw the first movie, Becky, this is a sequel to that, but it's a very simple plot. That movie starred Kevin James as a bad guy, which was the weirdest thing in the world. In that movie, some terrible stuff happens to this kid and she's forced to survive and she goes straight up Jason Bourne horror style on a group of bad guys and kills them. And that's kind of the plot of that movie. In this movie, I'm guessing it's a return to, hey, we're going to go back and do the same thing again. Only going to up it because, you know, let's face it, baby, these days, you got to have a sequel. But that movie was, that was a pretty fun watch. And I enjoyed the first Becky and the girl in it was amazing. She returns for this. And it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. This time, what's neat about it is it stars Sean William Scott, Stifler, as the actual bad guy. It's like a play, I think, on the, the Proud Boys type situation. But you have these guys called the Noblemen, led by Sean William. Scott and they end up crossing paths with her and stealing her dog and she goes to get her dog back and she now has this caretaker that's kind of just like the lady from Deadpool but the trailer looked pretty fun the first movie was good I think this is going to be a fun movie to watch it's definitely my I would say out of this list for sure this very 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 barren list I would say that this is my pick of the month that I think is going to be the best I can't wait to check out Wrath of Becky I can't wait to check out you without your clothes on depending on a lot of other factors. Hey guys, we've got a lot of fun stuff coming to the channel. Jay and I are filming uh, again really soon. we got some live streams coming out. I'm filming a review for the movie May because it's May that's coming out. So even though horror is, is shitty as fuck this month, we will still be doing a ton of stuff on this channel. So if you're new here, please click the subscribe button. Click that bell again so you're notified next month and we can let you know when next month will be a definite better month. It's already starting out with the boogeyman. Uh, got a lot of fun stuff coming. So if you would do that and check out our Patreon down below for over almost 100 movie commentaries and a ton of extra shit. We love your fucking faces. I hope you guys have an amazing month because God darn it, you deserve it. Now get the fuck out. Halloween never ends, suck my fucking dick, and I don't really care what Blumhouse fucking says. Put him in a box, or suck a fucking cock. You can say he's dead, but we all know he's not. Yeah. So let's go trick or treating, let's go fucking drinking. Let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS. Cause Halloween never ends, Halloween never ends, Halloween never ends.